okay, you bought your property, family's been living there for years, and then all of a sudden, just your backyard just freaking half of it just completely collapses into the ground. Like it just falls. What the hell happened? Ladies and gentlemen, Cyberland coming back to another educational video of the real estate world and picking up where we left off. So your backyard completely, half of it just collapsed and you're like, what the hell? Was it a mudslide or something? What Was it nature? What was an earthquake? What happened? Well, you have an investigation done and you come to find out that your neighbor next to you decided that they were going to do some digging and upon their digging, they affected your land. So when they were digging, they didn't put in bracers to make sure that your land stayed in place. And what ended up happening was your land completely fell away. One way to put it. And that's a serious problem. And that's a litigation problem. And that's a lawsuit. The thing about being a homeowner is we all all of us are going to have a home and we're all going to live next to somebody whether that's two blocks away or you know 20 feet away well even though you have rights as a homeowner to do things to your property you can only do so much you cannot cultivate the land to where it starts to tear up other people's property whether that's their fence whether that's their land whether that's their plumbing if you're doing things that are affecting your neighbor's property you can be brought into a, a, a lawsuit situation. So the term for this is called lateral support. What that means is that even though you want to do things to your land, you want to change the schematics of your land, you can do that. Let's say you're like, well, I want to have a basement built, like a, a bomb shelter built in my backyard. You can do that. You have a right to do that. However, you need to make you need to put steps in place when you're doing that to make sure that if your backyard, for example, there's a home next to you here, there's a home next to you here, and there's a home on the other side of the fence. You need to make sure when you're doing your basement, it doesn't affect this person's land, doesn't affect the next person's land, or the person behind the fence that you have. You gotta make sure when you're doing that, you're not affecting anybody's land or their lateral support when you're digging these things. Because some not sometimes, but you know when you ever seen videos where there was mudslides and certain things happened to people's homes and people were like, what caused it? What happened? Why did the house? Well, sometimes that is not always a natural situation. Some of that, when investigations are done, they can. it might come out that the neighbor next door was doing some digging and over the years has been digging and digging and they have been damaging the land to where the land could no longer hold itself in place and there was the, the rain didn't help and that caused the mudslide. There's things like that. Not always the case, but it can happen. So with you being a homeowner, you need to be very aware. And of course, a contractor who has to be certified because there need to be permits, they're going to nine times out of 10 um, before they even do work, they're going to make sure that those things are set in place because then they, they can also be brought into litigation because you're certified, you know what you're supposed to do with the land. Why did you do these things when you when you already knew and you guys did your research like you're supposed to that this owner cannot build back here or these safety measures have to be, be put in place to ensure that these things don't happen. That's a bunch of stuff to consider. So, you know, again, it's your property, you have, you know, the bundle of rights, you have a right to do what you want with it. 
as long as you don't infringe on your neighbors or that's acres of land as long as your acres of land whatever you're doing is not infringing on other owners even though it's acres of land you got to be careful you know what if you're deciding to do some build something on the almost on the outskirts of your land and it happens to start damaging another person's property you can't do that well it's on my land no this part is your land once you cross this line this point this meets and bounds this becomes somebody else's land you can't do that so those are things you also got to keep in mind when you're building too whenever you're building same thing if you're digging too much to where it's affecting somebody else's support for their land, you got a problem. But again, got it. This is why we have permits and you have certified people doing the work to make sure all these things are put in place so there's no headache or anything come back to bite you. Anyway, that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one.